Hey, in this video we are going to learn how to export a model with its animation from Blender and import and play the animation on the browser using 3GS. Actually, I'll focus on the animation part since I have already explained the process of importing a 3D model in 3GS in my 3GS guide, so make sure to check it out. So we'll start with creating the animation and as you can see I have a very badly modeled kind of a low poly dog here that is also badly rigged since I'm still new to modeling and rigging in Blender so please bear with me with this one. That said to animate this model I'll go to the animation tab and make sure we are in the pose mode then I'll hit the record button on the timeline below. Now we are going to create a very basic head animation to make the dog looks like it is barking. To do that I'll select the head bone, hit R to rotate and Y to rotate only on the Y axis then I'll just move a little bit to create an initial state for the head. Now at the 10th frame I'll change the position of the head again by hitting R, Y and then moving the mouse to reach the wanted head position. That done I'll just copy and paste the keyframes to create a loop out of the two head states and a good tip I can give you to make a perfect loop is to always end it with the same state as the initial one. If I hit space now the animation starts but once the blue needle goes past the last keyframes the animation stops because we used only 40 frames for our animation loop while the sequence length is 250 frames. So what we are going to do is to limit the sequence to 40 frames only and now if I hit space again you see that the animation keeps repeating which is exactly what we want. That done we can change the name of the action aka animation and give it a describing name which is useful later on when we import the model and animate it with code. The next thing we need to do is to go to the file menu, export and choose GLTF 2.0 which is the recommended file format to use with 3JS. So I'll put the file in the assets folder within the project folder, then make sure to check apply modifiers since I used the mirror modifier to create my model, you don't need to do that of course if you didn't use a modifier in your case, on the other hand you need to have the animation checkbox checked, then hit export. Now that we got the file we can jump into the code editor and start animating or we can check if the file has everything needed in order to use it in our app first. To do that we can use the editor on the 3GS official website and as you can see it's like a playground where we can create and test stuff. In our case we are going to take our GLB file and drag and drop it in the editor. And there we have our model but it's not animated, to do that we need to click on the model name and then hit play at the bottom of the sidebar. So our animation is working as intended, now if we take a closer look to the animation part of the sidebar you notice that the animation is typed in plural and we have the animation we created in a drop down list which means that our model can have multiple animations not just one. Having said that let's create a second animation for our dog. So back to Blender, we are going to set the mode to pose mode again, then choose action editor instead of drop sheet and this is supposed to be the list of actions or animations of the model that the exported file will include. That said, I'm going to create another action and rename it tail action since I'm going to animate the tail this time. This is actually a duplicate of the previous animation, so what I'm going to do is to select the bone that I animated earlier and then delete the action, then bring back the playhead to the first frame and repeat the same process I did earlier. Now I'll get rid of the old model and place the new one.
And as you can see, now we have two actions on the drop down list. We can play one of them or both of them at the same time. Now, time to include the model in its animations to our code. So, I have a very basic code template here in which I imported the necessary modules in the GLB file, set the scene and add the camera, etc. Again, I explained all of this stuff in my 3JS guide in case there is something you don't understand. That said, if we take a look at our scene, you see that we have a 30 by 30 grid with our dog on top of it. To play the animation we first need to create a global variable because it's going to be filled within the load method and used outside of it. Then within the load callback we are going to assign an instance of the animation mixer class to the mixer variable and pass the model as an argument to the constructor method. As they defined it in the documentation, the mixer is the animation player, it's pretty much the same as the timeline that we used to create and play the animations in Blender. Next, we are going to create a variable that will hold an object which includes the animations from the GLB file. Now we have two options, we either play a certain animation or play them all at the same time, we'll do both, so let's start with the first option. So first we are going to select which clip we want to play by calling the static method find by name from the animation clip class. Then we are going to convert that clip into a playable action by calling the clip action method from the mixer. Then we need to call play on that action. If we take a look at our model we can see any animation being applied and the reason for that as you know an animation is a sequence of actions that happen over time and what we did is apply only one action from the sequence when the page is loaded. So what we are going to do to play the entire animation loop is to go to the animate function and call the update method from the mixer variable. This method takes an argument which is time, I'll get back to this in a second, so let's continue, we'll create an instance of the clock class and then pass the value returned by the getDelta method to the update method. And there we go, we have the animation working. So back to update, if we look at the documentation, it says that the update method advances the global mixer time and updates the animation. Clock get delta gets the seconds passed since the time old time was set and sets old time to the current time. In other words, if we go back to Blender, clock get delta is equivalent to the blue needle, if you will, or the playhead so it basically indicates at what time we currently are in the animation loop. The update method on the other hand takes that information to display the model in the right state at that given time. Now even though the animation works, if we try to refresh the page, as you see everything stops working and if we open the console it says that the variable from which we called update aka mixer is undefined. The problem here comes from the load method and that's because this method is asynchronous which means that the engine will start loading the model then execute other stuff while it's loading and mixer update is part of that other stuff. That means that we are calling update before the mixer variable is filled. So what we are going to do is to simply add an if condition based on the mixer variable and this way update won't be called unless the mixer value is different than undefined. Now to play all the existent animations at the same time we need to loop over the clips then convert each one into an action and play it.
Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.